Shock is a serious state that results from excessive blood loss leading to inadequate tissue perfusion and oxygenation. Numerous attempts have been made to develop an effective resuscitative agent. Hibernation-based approach or hemoglobin-based blood substitutes prepared as resuscitative agents have not been successful. Shock is currently managed by crystalloids, colloids, and vasopressors. The infusion of vasopressors, though, needs careful titration and may have side effects, like an increase in peripheral vascular resistance, which may lead to a decrease in blood perfusion to the tissues, cardiac arrhythmias are a risk, and fluid extravasation. Overall, the survival rate is very low with the presently available treatments. Phase two and three clinical trials show that Lifequin is a novel, first-in-class, frontline resuscitative agent for the treatment of hypovolemic shock. Lifequin acts through a unique mechanism of action by stimulating alpha-2B adrenergic receptors. More than half of our blood is pooled on the venous side and does not participate in supplying oxygen and nutrients to the tissue. When Lifequin is administered intravenously, it stimulates venous alpha-2B adrenergic receptors to produce venous constriction and return the pooled blood to the heart. This results in more blood pumped out of the heart with each beat, producing an increase in blood pressure. Simultaneously, Lifequin stimulates alpha-2A adrenergic receptors to produce a dilation of arterial blood vessels due to a reduction in sympathetic drive in that way, decreasing arterial resistance. The combined effect of stimulating alpha-2A and alpha-2B receptors leads to an increase in cardiac output and arterial dilation by lifequin, thereby enhancing organ blood perfusion and an improved supply of oxygen and nutrients to the tissues. In phase two and three clinical trials, lifequin has demonstrated significant improvement in survival following hemorrhagic shock. It offers several advantages over currently used resuscitative agents. Concerns of potent vasoconstriction limit the use of vasopressors. Lifequin, in contrast, produces arterial dilation to enhance blood supply to the tissues. The most common adverse effects of presently used resuscitative agents include arrhythmias, fluid extravasation, and ischemia, which have not been observed with lifequin. At present, resuscitative agents need constant intravenous infusion and need to be titrated carefully. However, Lifequin is administered in a volume of 100 milliliters over 60 minutes with no need for titration. Lifequin has a high safety margin. Lifequin does not act on beta adrenergic receptors and has no isomers. This provides a significant advantage over current resuscitative agents because of minimal risk to produce cardiac complications. Lifequin is effective in small volume and is not likely to produce fluid extravasation as reported with current resuscitative agents. It significantly reduces the amount of fluids and drugs used for resuscitation, thereby limiting their adverse effects. In summary, lifequin acts on alpha-2B receptors in the veins to produce venous constriction and on alpha-2A receptors in the brain to produce sympathetic action leading to arterial dilation, thereby improving cardiac output and tissue perfusion. Lifequin is a novel, first-in-class resuscitative agent that has significantly reduced mortality in patients with hypovolemic shock.